Hi, welcome to this tarot love reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. So I got, uh, I think this is a side note, something about perfection. So um, <clears throat> kind of release that. That comes with kind of an expectation. Um, wanting something to be perfect. It could be work. It could be, I don't know. I think it's different. There's a side note. I was just getting perfection. So I want to say about the contract, as I normally do, I channel from the Galactic Roundtable, which deals with the Twin Flame contract. And as you know, if you're watching, a lot of Divine Feminines have come away or separated from the Divine Masculines. And this time is not to hate on your person, although I apologise to David if he's watching. I don't mean to be, but at the same time, um, as you, if you are a tower reader, you have your channel, you just say what comes up and you give your, some. well, sometimes you give your examples, lots of tower readers are single. The Galactic Round Table is making it clear that this time is so that you can kind of recuperate, um, 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 collaborate and get on track to what your purpose your mission really is this separation the the skewed perception of this separation is that okay it's about my person fixing up but as you hear how this might sound vain but how i do it is an example of like I say how David was, if he thinks it is correct, then it shouldn't trigger him. If it triggers him, then there's something that he needs to work on. I say I love him clearly. I would still love to be with him. I'm not picking anybody else. Some of you are having options. These options, and I was saying this yesterday, Sheeta was saying that it's like, were having all the options when the divine masculine had all the options and there's a lot of things that were having it's like the time of 5d channeled message check it out in the facebook it goes deep into well not deep deep but it goes a little bit into the contract and what they're trying to say here is that things um were, for example if you are having a lot of options and i am having a lot of options I am not picking those options. The options that your person had and the options you are now having is so that you recognize what you really want and stick to it. So I know that I would prefer David to come back and be open and honest with me, emotionally express and with his family. If that doesn't happen, that's what I want for the future. So all these options that are coming in, then... If they don't come to meet that, then I just release them. And when your person had all these options, then you can understand because when you was hearing from tower readers and other people, your person has options, you're not sleeping with all the options. It's teaching you a lesson of like, hold on, I'm, I might have options, but I'm not sleeping with them all. I'm not engaging with them all. Oh, I apologize. I was saying... I've met this guy and he's from Leeds. Now, Leeds from where I am is about three, three and a half, maybe four hours. I didn't, I just presumed you all knew where I live. And once again, a lovely guy, but I was like, no, I don't, I don't want that. That's too far. It's too far. And that's what this is. This time is for you to regather your thoughts of what you really want in your life. It, what is your purpose and what is your mission? Not for you to, oh, okay, I'm going to sit over here and wait for my person to do the changes. No. So like I said, um, you can love that person. But if someone else comes in with the stuff that your person may or may not change to what you want, be open for that. Your twin, you must understand, you're watching me, your twin flame, your light worker, your star seed. You are here to show people how to be. So if you're in that 3D job 
and you're just waiting for your person, you are no different. You just simply are experiencing the twin flame connection but not doing anything. It is about humanitarian work. It is about changing people's lives. It is about that and you know that. You know that's your core being. If you're not sure what your mission is or where to start, book us for counselling. The prices are going down as well so from tomorrow so um book mentoring book counseling i want to hone in to see what's going on with you and your person well your person you want to know about your person let's see what's going on at the moment with your person i normally pause it but they said don't pause it <laughs> so i'll just do it now I feel a determination of a change. Yeah, I definitely feel the determination from not happening. <laughs> None of you have got that email, that phone call, that yes, things have changed. But there's definitely, I'll put it this way, it's not like before with your person. It's not. There's definitely a change. Now... Are they coming towards you? I don't know. I don't think that all twin flames are getting together, regardless of you listening to the titles. Like I said, go down all my titles. Go down another tower reader's title. Just scroll back a month and you'll see the same titles repeating because it's for you to make the changes. I was also getting, um, what was that other thing I was getting? Oh, November. I think time November, and that's what I'm saying, please take, make use of this community. November... Yeah, beginning of November, you're going to know your person ain't coming back, right? So some of you will just go back to the same old, or it's like you're just going to be a soulmate. Oh, sorry, hair on me. It's very important you're not a soulmate. There's nothing wrong with soulmates, right? I'm not here to cuss out soulmates. I'm just saying you're here to do a different purpose on this planet. Soulmates are more 3D. If you don't get with your person, which is like I said, the Galactic Roundtable is making it clear, then what are you? Who are you? So that's this time. Think about what you really want. And there's nothing wrong with asking for help. What you want, you can't get in colleges or universities because that's not you. That's why we offer mentoring. So November, you're going to be like, okay, he's not coming back. It's going to be a wake-up call for you lot just sat there waiting, just looking at the titles of tower readings. He's not coming back, right? <clears throat> he or she. All right, let's see what the cards say. <clears throat> We can help you get into your mission, your purpose, your hobbies. And that's what this is about. Focus on you. And then you get someone as well as. Successful relationships work like that when they have a life themselves. So resentment doesn't kick in. Please go on and listen to the channel message in the Facebook group. It's free. Everyone that posts on here posts in there as well. And you get additional stuff that I can't upload on this YouTube in, in the Facebook group. PDFs, <coughs> Word docs, stuff like that. Right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> I went deep into the Three of Pentacles yesterday, right, about your person and their third world, why the contract ended. So we got the Three of Pentacles, the Hermit, and seven of caps excuse my nails it's it's 
gloss paint. It's hard to take out. I oh, who gives a shit? You're here to listen, not look at my nails. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. This is what I was saying about the Galactic Round Table, the Twin Flame contract, is about you collaborating. Uh, I think it's been about a year and a half. It was Taurus and Uranus, which is for the next six years, is about people collaborating. Um, so that, um, and that's what this, this planet, there is no collaborate. Poor people don't collaborate. The rich collaborate. The poor people don't. And that's very... Um, you don't know anyone who's extremely successful and they're Jack Joan, right? Most people that are successful actually get other people to do the stuff, <laughs> right? Uh, hence me. I don't do counselling. I don't do image reading. So I, I have others to do it. And that's what this is, is, this collaboration. Like I said, take this time where you're not with your person to re, re, re regroup, rethink, is there a lot of um is there a retrograde because retrogrades are the all the re's <laughs> right so there might be a retrograde happening at the moment um but the three of pentacles and um work on because my three of pentacles is someone who's wise in uh, an enlightened um teacher you see all the you know the, the the anyway and he's holding half a pomegranate and he's, the pomegranate rec, represents the uh, tree of life, and your high. Pro, and it, in my cards, I told her to put the tree of pomegranates in the background, which pomegranate the uh, it, the tree of pomegranate is it a tree? I think it's a tree of pomegranates is within the high priestess card. High priestess is tarot. This is about your truth, tarot, goddess of truth, tr tarot different versions of some people call her goddess tarot taruf taruf um and that's about the she also has a veil of illusion and that's what this is smashing that veil of illusion when you're collaborating with the right people about what you're here to do this is also about influencing your inner child and your children about happiness because the sun is around this person Sorry, was it blurry? I apologise. I can see it was blurry now. Right. Um, you see, the sun is around this person. <laughs> and he's teaching the children here. Right. And he's teaching these. Uh, uh, um, yeah. T teaching the children who is the best person to look up to. Not just anybody. And I was saying this yesterday. You're listening to Pit Talbeaders who can't even bother to show their face right and you might think oh, i don't care they do just a brilliant tower reader but you want to be like someone you want to listen to people who you want to be like you're listening oh my best friend gives me all this great advice what is your best friend's life like right tell me right the same with your person Oh, my mate, he's okay he he, he uh, helped me out from a young age and all this i'm like is their life great, right? Are they living in mansions, driving nice cars, really loved up and in uh, in love uh, with their person, traveling the world? Are they doing lovely things together? And that's not everything. I know that. Or are they like, we're so in love, we're so happy, we're just contented just being ourselves indoors. And I do my little hobby. He does his little hobby. I go do keep fit. He goes to the gym. Are they like that? And you can see the love from that person. If not, I don't care how intelligent they sound. Stop listening to them, right? Like I said, I don't care what people are saying to you. It's through pentacles. Collaborate with the right people. As I'm always saying, we don't have a lot of views. I don't have a lot of views. But although it pisses me off on one side because we work fucking hard to help you, on the other side, if we have thousands of views, that means we're like everyone else, right? Because everyone else follows the sheep. This is about collaborating with the right people and the tree of uh, pomegranates represents you know, right? Or go in to see if they're saying things that are correct. 
right? This isn't about showing off. There's, uh, it, it's not about being seen. This is about who's wise. There's lots of uh, spiritual leaders out there, and they're the main one. It's not about that. It's about spreading your wisdom. And that's why I'm always saying, now, I don't really know much about Rasta ways, because although a lot of my family, uh, uncles and, and my sister, my brothers, all were Rasta, um, my dad and David, I didn't believe any kind of religion I, I wanted to walk my own path but at the same time why I'm saying that because I always remember um Halle Selassie I saying don't follow me be like me through your pentacles so who are you listening to and like I said you might think that they're tower reading or your mate or even your parents and this might trigger a lot of you but look at your parents life are they really happy with a tree of pomegranates? Go within. Are they really happy? Your, your partner, your relationships, your twin flame might talk about their parents, but they don't, and they probably don't want to. They don't go and really look at the situation as it is, right? Their, their parents are probably, they have twin flame parents. I know David's was. I just found out the other day, really. In fact, he was telling me, but uh, he tells me loads of stuff. Until I saw the pictures, I was like, wow. They're twin flames. Your, your person's person's twin flames. Their grandparents probably twin flames. Your mum and dad's twin flames. Your um, grandparents, your, your grandparents, your children are twin flames. And you are showing them with the three pentacles soulmate life <laughs> well your your entirety is a twin flame and that twin flame is about working on you and that's why i'm going on to, into the three of pentacles because this is about spirituality the hermit is about focusing on yourself my entire as i said my entire <laughs> i didn't really talk to my dad he wasn't around and when he did come um he lived in another country, never saw him. When he finally turned up, I think he showed up when I was 20, never saw the guy. And within a year, he died. But so I didn't really take much notice to him. But he, I remember um, he was um, thick in his Rasta culture. And my brothers and my sister was Rasta at that time. And I was like, no, I wasn't rude to it. But I never forget, he said, yeah, that is true. Out of all my friends and family, Sophia, you're the true Rasta because it's about living your own path and doing your own wants and doing your own wishes. And he said to me, you will get a Rasta man. I was like, nah. <laughs> He's like, no, you're falling in love with a Rasta man. Hence David, right? <clears throat> And that's a hermit, following your own path, doing what you want. And why I'm saying my life is I was surrounded by Rasta belief systems, the traditions, the tree. I didn't follow that. And you're not supposed to. You're supposed to live your own path. Even uh, David being Rasta, I didn't follow that neither. Oh, it's my person. I'm going to transform to that religion and culture. No, just now some people do that. But if they feel compelled to do that, let them do that. But this is about um, live and let live. That's what this is about with the hermit. Being wise, being a spiritual person, like I said, this separation now is about you to focus on you. That time that I used to see David, I'm not like, okay, I would be seeing David today, so what can I do? I'm literally just working and doing all this stuff. And the more I'm working and focused on me, which I'm not doing it in a hippy dippy way. Let me sit and focus on me because I am actually doing it and actively fulfilling my inside and my inner child. More stuff is coming into my awareness. This is different energy. The seven of cups. This is about casually choosing your choices. And like I say, you have choices now. Some of you have choices. And this could be for career as well, for jobs. You have choices. And you might say, I don't have a choice. You do have a choice. If you're working in a supermarket, you still have a choice to leave. 
right? You can choose. Seven of Cups is many hands in many pies. A, a rich mentality, don't do that. And this is what this is as well. With the Three of Pentacles building something. What you're doing and what your person is doing is leaving nothing for the children. Nothing. I dated someone, oh gosh, about 10 years ago. And he was like, when, when, um, when my parents die, I get this house. I couldn't believe he said it. And I wasn't even awoke really fully then. And I was like, is that what you're waiting for? in your life just to have this house and it, it weren't even a great house right it weren't even a great house <laughs> and he had a brother who had to share it so i was like literally time they die you could have made shit more money and be more successful instead of just being in your he was in a warehouse job which he didn't really like and just waiting for your parents to die and that's this Seven of Cups is stop doing silly stupidness and then you have nothing, right? No uh, leg legacy for your children. Nothing for them to look up to. My mum died. I can't say, mama and my dad. I'm like, uh, what can I say about them? Not that I care if I die, but I know I've done and I've changed a lot of people's lives. So I could die happy, right? I don't care about funerals. I've already told my son, just dash me in the river, right? That's it. I don't care about who's there, right? I don't care about that because it's consciousness. When you're conscious being, well, awoken, not fully, you're always awakening. You don't care about death because it's just an extension of. It's just um, I will still be me, but just not without the physical body. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just... It's going to be amazing, really. I can't wait. It sounds weird, but I can't wait. But what you are leaving behind is, well, I worked in a supermarket, then I worked in a, a, a laundrette, then I done cleaning in the evening, then I had this person, he was all right, then I dated her, she was all right, and then, you know, I got this all right car and this all right little uh, mortgage. That's seven of caps. It's casualness. Collaborate with us and let us help you build something solid so you'll be happy. You'll be glowing. You'll be happy. And this is inside and out with the uh, pomegranates. And once again, this is to connect it with your inside because I'm talking about your uh, inner world. And it's not about studying. This is about studying with the books, right? Book uh, library. This is about studying you. You study yourself. With the universe. Take this time to study yourself on your wants and your desires. Trust me, if we help you to build that whilst you're waiting for your person, then you won't be waiting. And if they don't come back, because cut time November, trust me, when I do dates, I don't get them all the time, but when I say dates, normally something happens. November, you're going to be like, fucking hell, he's not coming back, is she? He or she's not coming back, right? They're not. They would have done it already. Then what? So build. This is what this is. Work on your inside. Uh, did you lot go and watch? Go and watch the Jada. Jada Smith. Pickett Smith interview. You lot love all that. Go and watch that. I promise you she talks about inner child. Loving herself. And I promise you, right, she don't talk about Reiki, acupuncture, yoga, meditation, or tarot. King of Wands to the Hermit. This is that sex thing. Ah, Pretty Woman. I was saying it in the reading yesterday. Your person treats you like the film Pretty Woman, basically. And they think because... The guy in Pretty Woman, because he, he didn't beat her up, treat her bad, he was polite, he brought her flowers, took her to lovely expensive restaurants. That's where your person's deluded king of wands. It keeps coming up. Deluded perception is I'm treating you nice. So I'm not treating you like a whore. And as I keep saying, that's probably why, see the bigger picture of why I worked in, uh, in a brothels. And uh, I was a lap dancer. 
because that isn't treated bad but your perception is it is you gotta fuck the guys i'm telling you we you get sacked if you even touch a guy i was super fit because to dance on someone without touching them is very hard uh you have to be extremely fit um but anyway that's this with a king of wands it's like working on yourself instead of working on i'm just going to go with this person and that's why you lot are getting people like twin flame two twin flame three because there's this what i'm getting this mirror of attraction and it's like is it really just about attraction i can just go to my twin flame literally out my door and probably bump into him is it really about just dating someone who is sex will be great or um i'm physically attracted to that's this with the king of wands they're learning that it's like the universe is next to the king of wands is learning that teaching your person about that your person is because <clears throat> in reality they don't really <clears throat> see they still haven't talked to you <laughs> right my throat's always going but in reality they they see you as really fit fit as fuck right and if you're having sex with him, sex is great and amazing. It can get better, right, as well. It's fucking good anyway, and it can get back better. But you're very passionate and fiery, and you have passion with that person. And your masculine just keeps onto that zone. And But underneath it all, there's more than that. And they know there's more than that. But they don't access that. They're not encouraging that. A true relationship that lasts is if you encourage that person to be more of who they really are. And just by... I'm going to have to say it. When it comes to me, it comes to me. No, okay. <laughs> I don't want to keep calling David out. I don't want to, right? <clears throat> say if I met someone... And they knew I was just started my projects. And they said, oh, well done, right? That's really good. You should go down that, right? That's not fucking encouraging, <laughs> right? That's not encouragement. Enc if if, if um, they said, what are you doing? Show me where you get it. Tell me what you're doing, what your website is, how you're going to market it or whatever. If they're going into it with the three of pentacles, really collaborating with you, right, and having your back, then you're more likely to build something, as you do with your person. And that's what I want. I want someone to see what I am, not just the surface level with the king of wands. It doesn't mean they have to sit here and I have to show them the artistry of what I create, right? Well, it's over there and well both sides right oh look i use this paint and it was 4.99 it doesn't have to be but at the same time it is nice that they know it i i listened to, uh, like i said the the interviewer of the person with jada Pitt, pickett smith wrote a book and his wife read the book right jada smith wrote the book will smith read the book and i'm like see they don't have to come up and say what did you mean in chapter blah 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 but at least be in your world and i think that's what they're trying to show your person and if and that's what i mean i love david but if i don't feel supported and he feels just to support his children right and and not support his world or someone he loves then i'll just leave that that's not what i want and that's what i want to help you to choose because it's not nice because you're not growing you're not you're not growing yes support your children but they follow you i promise you you can talk um, and influence your children all day long but majority of you don't have uh, all the time in the world like david beckham's dad to just focus on his son to make him to make the changes so whatever you say to them they follow your influence of what you are you can say listen i think you should be a doctor like i said you don't really sit down to your kids and talk to them with children here it's a first card 
about <clears throat> um, <clears throat> having a crappy job or okay job and just struggling or maintaining in life. You would encourage them, listen, go and you can be what you want to be and well done getting this certificate and do the stupid ass homework, although what the fuck do they do all day in school? So why do they have to have homework as well, right? Or what, what the fuck are they doing in school, right? And then the stupid regurgitation of those um, um, uh, exams, which is pointless because no one remembers. Do you remember what your exams you took in school? What's the fucking purpose? And you're too young to even know what you want to do. Wisdom comes with age. And all this kind of thing, you can engage in that. And probably most of you do. And I promise you, your kids will still follow you. And that's what I'm saying. Because you need proper, proper encouragement, mentorship. Your twin flame is supposed to be, you are their mentor. They're supposed to be back to you as well. Hence, back to back. The temperance is stop being two-faced, and this is the delay. No, it's during the delay, stop being two-faced and choosing loads of options. Fuck that, Sophia. Like I said, the prices are going to go down pretty much uh, a lot, half price or less tomorrow. I'm just going to slash them all. So there's no, because I know from November, you lot are going to be like, fuck, I'm not with my person. What do I do? You're in this awkward place in November of, shall I go back to them because I don't like it, but they're not coming towards me, or you're just going to be on your jack jam. So it's like there's no excuse now why you can't be in this community. And that's what this is about. Uh, <clears throat> temper yourself and and learn to balance yourself correctly and stop you choosing all these other options of you know what i'm just gonna go buy another fucking crystal <clears throat> as usual i'll see if i'll get another reading uh if anything else comes out if it doesn't <clears throat> if there isn't another one same reading <clears throat> oh god appreciation like i said this is about i keep getting that with your person just turning up and treating you like fucking G julia roberts right not sitting still and appreciating who you really are there it is <laughs> right this came out yesterday that that's what it is but generally to be fair the feminines do do that you do see your per person's potential and what they could be and the more that they can do, how they could divert their attention and do things differently. But they are stuck in their ways of doing it. Same as you. So instead of having all that potential placed onto your person, put it into, OK, where's my potential? Right. What am I showing my children? My son wants to uh, give up his shop and go travel the world. I'm so pleased. I want to travel the world. I'm, I'm glad I'm influencing. He's been an entrepreneur. He is an entrepreneur, right? He's independent. Now he wants to travel the world. I didn't say shit to it. He just sees what kind of person I am. You influence him, right? And I encourage what he wants to do. I'm helping him to get his passport. I'm, I'm talking to him what, where you go in, what languages and stuff like that. That's this. You've got, I want someone who encourages me of what I build, not just you over there and I'm going to go and do with the third party. That's what this is with this seven of cups, but you're doing the same thing. So this is about appreciation of you being an actually an actual twin flame. You're not appreciating it because you're just waiting for your person to go into soulmate shit. You're not appreciating it as they don't appreciate you. If I do another reading, I'll um, see what's going on when they're coming back. You probably come off this video and looked at another title of, uh, I'll fuck this, when are they coming back? Right, one of those titles. Oops. You make me... <laughs> Thank you, Universe Galactic Crew. <laughs> You make me want to be a better person. The entire fucking reading. 
right? What, by you working in your 3D job, that's not wanting anyone to be a better person, isn't it? Right? If you're humanitarian and you're a volunteer, you're doing your own hobby, you're, you're inspirational, you're your true twin flame, appreciate what you are, then you'll make other people want to be a better person. I do check up on you. So they're still watching you, are they? <clears throat> it's all my fault. I think your person is waking up to, like I say, that what they, they didn't listen, they didn't uh, take the steps that you were telling them to take. They're taking accountability of what they've done, which is good. Okay, uh, check out the other video if I do it. If I, if I don't, then I didn't get uh, any messages. But I'll hone into what's more going on with your person, because this is more about what to do whilst you're not with your person. <laughs> Speak to you later.